Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Good e Reader, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to copy your own fonts to your Kobo Touch e Reader with the latest iteration of firmware update. You now have the ability to not just have a few fonts like uh, you had when you had purchased your e Reader. So if you're an early adapter you may not see this and with the latest firmware update that Kobo put out which is features that the community was really asking for you can change the font size line spacing margins justification so center or left right and you can also have more font changing capabilities so you can see when you originally purchased your Kobo Touch it only had two fonts to choose from now we have almost seven some people may say seven is good but I have particular fonts that I like such as Times New Roman and other popular fonts you may want to read books in those particular formats because that's what you're really used to so today I'm gonna teach you how to search your computer for the fonts that you like how to download fonts from other websites and then load them onto your Kobo Touch so the first thing that we want to do is plug in via our micro USB cable our Kobo Touch into our computer and we get a flag here and we want to connect it okay it says connected and charging incidentally you can charge your Kobo Touch e-reader on your PC I'm gonna put this down now you can see here here's the root of our, our device you see the welcome guide the EPUB for Kobo read on Adobe Digital Editions folder, as well as some other folders here. This main folder is what you want to work in. So we're going to click on New. So we right clicked. We're going to click New Folder. And we're going to rename our, create a folder called Fonts. Now, it's very important that you just don't create a folder called Font Singular. You do want to create a directory called Fonts plural this is very important you don't want to rename this folder any other thing but fonts now there's two ways that you can get fonts these are the most popular uh, methods that I like so we're going to go to dafont.com this is a free site you can get a ton of different fonts on here they roughly have about 12,000 fonts you can search for font names and find a whole ton of them and you know fonts with accents fonts with uh, European languages and so on so you can simply download a font to your computer unzip the font because they all come in zip format so if you don't know what a zip is you want to download a program called WinZip or 7-zip and what that does is that extracts the contents within the the file that you're actually downloading another way that you may want to get fonts is click on your start menu and then simply write the word font and press enter and you'll see a ton of fonts here these are all the fonts that are bundled with your computer as well as fonts that are bundled in particular programs such as Adobe Photoshop and so on so you might want to say you know I'm a big fan of Microsoft Sans Serif regular so I can click copy go to my desktop and then click paste and there it is certain fonts on your computer will have just not one file like this one did but with say Tahoma it had two files it had Tahoma and then Tahoma bold and with Times New, Times New Roman it came with the Times New Roman font as well as the italicized version the bold version and so on because you know sometimes when you read ebooks certain paragraphs or maybe quotes or chapters may be bolded and so you want to be able to make sure that when you have fonts that have different versions of it you want to copy them all over so today we're going to copy over a few fonts we're going to copy over a font that we downloaded from defont.com called roman serif and then two fonts that i found on my computer tahoma and times new roman so we're going to go back to our Kobo e-reader into the fonts directory that we made here and then we're simply just going to copy paste everything that's here on my desktop and just drag and drop it there 
So you can see a number of fonts being copied over. So you may say, Marcus, that's a lot of fonts, but trust me, not all of these will show up on your e-reader. Pretty well, only three new fonts will appear. All the different versions of bold and italics and things like that will not appear unless you're actually reading an e-book that has that in there. So I'm gonna unplug the Kobo Touch from my computer. And I'm gonna load up a book that came for free with the e-reader entitled the Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I'm just going to kind of click on the center here to bring up the font menu. Okay. So I'm going to click the little down arrow and whoa, what did we have here? We have some new fonts that we just copied over. Here's Roman Serif. Here is Tahoma. And then we have Times New Roman. So you might be saying, Marcus, we heard that you could only have fonts on books that you downloaded for free from Kobo or that you have purchased from Kobo. Well, what happens if you download books from other stores such as Barnes & Noble, Borders, BookBaby, Smashwords, and other sites, or just books that you just randomly downloaded from someplace somehow on the internet? Well, let's check it out. I have copied a book over to my device that I have uh, downloaded from another website. It's entitled The Princess in the Tower by Alison Weir. And here's the book here. Oh, it looks like the fonts actually changed. Here's our Times New Roman font in a book that we have just downloaded from the internet. So it looks like that not only can you load in your own fonts that will stick to books that you downloaded from Kobo or have downloaded from Kobo, but you can actually load in your own fonts and apply them to books that you have downloaded from the internet, purchased from the internet, or borrowed from the library. So this has been a tutorial on how to load in your own fonts to your Kobo Touch e-reader. My name is Marcus. And I am with the Good E-Reader blog. We're pretty well the definitive e-reader blog on the internet. We have hundreds of video tutorials online on our YouTube channel that you can visit us on youtube.com slash user slash good e-reader. Or you can visit our Good E-Reader blog and click on videos. You can listen to the Good E-Reader radio show. We have a month, we have a monthly newsletter and we write roughly five or six articles a day on e-reading, digital publishing, e-books, independent authors, and a whole lot more. So make sure you check out goodyreader.com for all of your e-reader news. My name is Marcus again, and everybody take care.